We're very data rich in this organisation, but we are quite information poor. And so a lot of the stuff that we're looking at for this, uh, the, the data is there. Uh, it's just a matter of knowing where to go to capture it. We knew a lot of the information that clinicians required and we needed to have collated and presented to them was captured within the patient journey board. So it provided us with a, an opportunity to build upon existing software that we had. So when the dashboard first came up and we, we were looking at it, it was very straightforward. It gave you graphs, it told you specific numbers, but in terms of actually being able to track what exactly was the breakdown of those graphs, where the discharge summaries were sitting, where the patients had been before they were discharged, a lot of that information was lacking. We wanted to um, offer a funding source or a support platform for any, any um, unit, whether it be clinical or non-clinical, that had um, uh, an innovative idea to put it forward. I think the infrastructure costs for developing dashboards and, and putting the, the equipment in place are relatively low. And I think what we've seen with dashboards, both here and in other sites, that the impact on how long patients spend in the hospital is, is pretty immediate and that really does pay for itself pretty quickly. Um, initially we focused on looking at uh, patient flow processes that we have and displaying on the dashboard how, how that's working. Um, we have future plans of displaying other indicators within the clinical dashboard around patient safety, patient quality and importantly operational effectiveness to display to clinicians. The dashboard uh, uploads its information directly from other sources. So there's no extra work uh, required in putting in the information into the dashboard. The dashboard takes it from other places. So it's, it's important to understand that the information needs to be of gold standard at some point. For the moment, that's our journey board where all the information gets placed and the dashboard uploads from there. It helps us to see what the plans are for the patients, particularly when they might not necessarily have been communicated to us. As pharmacists, we really are quite busy. We see every patient every day in the hospital, and sometimes we do miss out on bits of information. But a quick look at the dashboard in the morning or after a multidisciplinary meeting, um, we can just see that it's all there in, in the plan. Um, having the dashboard there helps me plan my day um, as far as which patients to see first and how, um, how to prioritise which patients um, to see. And then at a glance you're able to see what you need to do to make the ward function better, the journey board focusing on the patient, the individual patient, and so it actually pulls together the ward very nicely, as well as having the added features of um, putting in some quality safety aspects with falls risks and um, workload risks etc um, and um, has been amazingly influential for the junior doctors as well they see what they have to do very clearly and it's um, um, probably been the single most influencing factor um, that we've seen in terms of um, uh, encouraging the junior doctors to do discharge summaries for instance so it's, um, it's been very successful. I'm a competitive person and so I quite like the fact that I can sort of see where I'm tracking against the other teams and I know that we have a bit of a joke, we, we get along quite well, uh, all the other interns and I, and so we kind of, you know, a bit of competitive nature, especially with those discharge summaries, making sure that your pile is the smallest at the end of the day. I don't think the dashboard will ever be done. I think it'll be an ongoing effort between not just our clinicians, but as our clinicians talk to other clinicians in different areas, it'll be this ongoing moving target that different clinicians will get different value out of it. I think this dashboard has a real opportunity to be spread across Queensland Health, and I think there's a lot of hospital and health services that, that struggle with these challenges of, of uh, I guess, a, a high workload, a lot of patients, a lot of activity. So these dashboards, I think, play a huge role in future of, of I guess how clinicians deal with the system and uh, getting patients through. At the moment we can see that there's um, clinical benefits, there's professional benefits, um, it's not just about one piece of the pie, I think that people will take 
little bits of what's relevant to them and build on it. I think there's lots more that the dashboard can do. Obviously it's drawing information um, from live sources so the information that's been displayed is live um, and at the moment it's mostly linking to the journey board but there's all sorts of uh, data out there that were that's not being provided as information to clinicians and so I think um, it's really when we sat down to design the, the dashboard, um, those initial meetings, we thought, oh, perhaps this isn't doable, but then when we actually started to work through it and we actually produce what we've got now, it's been so successful that you can only imagine that you just need to start thinking a bit more broadly and you can start to pull in information in real time that will actually influence behaviour in many different ways. Mm.